Recording in progress. Welcome back to Hatha. Um, we are on the other side of Memorial Weekend, so we are in summer and or ish. I know that you can put them at different starting times and the planets might not be there yet, but for all intents and purposes, we are, especially here in Texas. So over the next few classes, I just want to offer a few kind of summer themed things. And today I'm thinking about the fullness of life that is summer. So when you think about how the year goes, you know, you plant seeds and then they arrive at their potential. Any tree where you look has done this, of course, over its lifetime, but the, the life cycle of their leaves show us this. You know, we go from, uh, from no leaves, if it's a deciduous tree, and then they start to merge. And that's when we're kind of getting excited about spring and here. They are open in their fullness. And so I thought today would be a fun time to practice this with the idea of fullness. What is what is full potential feeling in your body? What does it feel like when you're living into the fullness of your spirit or the fullness of your mind? What that might mean for you? Any of these parts of yourselves, how can we experience them as if they are reaching and have attained or are residing in their fullest potential? That's all. doesn't mean it needs to be perfect. We're just going to allow ourselves to um, kind of experience things a little bit deeper, using a wall, using different things that kind of push on our edges so that fullness can emerge from inside. So we're full on fullness today. So if you would, please uh, rub your palms, deepen your breath. <sighs> Let your eyes slowly and softly gaze at your hands as you create this nice friction of heat, which is certainly one of the aspects of summer. We are in the heat. And place one hand on the upper chest, one hand on your belly as you soften your gaze or close your eyes. And per usual, our breath is a Beautiful metaphor for the theme of our class of fullness. Habitually, very few of us take full breaths. We kind of exist a little bit more to the shallow breathing, but our yoga practice is an invitation to a deeper, fuller breath. It might help to exhale more completely so that there's some room to inhale more deeply. Use your mind's eye to trace the path of your breath in from nose, chest, ribs, belly, even imagining your breath softening your body all the way to the pelvic floor. And then the exhale, watch the breath leave, emptying from the bottom to the top. You need to practice full yogic breath, but now I invite you to add a pause at the top of the inhale. Be in that fullness, maybe even imagining a beautiful tree or a flowering bush in its fullness, right? And its expansion from the inside out, even into the space around you, maintain that, and then exhale, let it be a natural letting go. Be mindful of the quality of the top of your inhale, that you don't inhale and <clears throat> clamp down or hold it, but you just allow the breath to sustain itself in your lungs. There's no use holding on, time will shift, and then you surrender with grace and ease on the exhale. And then finally add a pause at the end of the exhale so that you sit in a moment of quiet emptiness. 
experiencing the opposite of fullness, so we might, might know fullness more. What might your intention, your personal intention or thoughts or affirmations be around this idea of fullness, living life at its fullest, reducing friction <clears throat> so that you may experience expansion? What might that be for you? What is fullness for you? We'll seal these intentions onto our breath and into our body in the sound of OM one time. So we'll take another nice deep breath in. Then exhale all the way. Breathe into OM. Release your head to your heart. Lower your hands, slowly open your eyes. Begin to move your torso, inhaling, sweep forward and around, exhaling back and around. So the breath remains full and open. We begin to open the body now in slow movement and attention. Then go the other way, circling your body around. Good, then coming to stillness, inhaling, arms lift up and open. Let your palms be soft. So there can be a full lift of your chest and experience all the way through the limbs. Exhale, slowly press your arms down to your sides. So from the center of your being, reach out and up like that beautiful tree, growing, growing, growing. You reach the top and then slowly descend. But there is that moment where your arms are up as high as they're gonna go. Your breath is as drawn in as it's gonna be be there before releasing down. Do this like a moving meditation three more times. From this lift, crescent to one side, so hand comes down, reach over the top, and send this nice full breath into the opposite side of your body. In that pause, stretch into it a little bit more, and then on the exhale, surrender a little bit more deeply. Maintain that breathing in, deep breath in, pause, suspend, and then let go naturally. Good, other side. We're breathing in, open the side body, lift it, expand it, pause, then surrender more deeply. Good, same idea, twice more breath.
rise back up to the middle and walk your body forward bow your head let go Use your hands to slowly walk your body up and then come on to your back bring your strap and just have it nearby let your weight settle back on your mat just take a couple full deep breaths here Good. Knees come into your chest, and with one hand on each knee, circle the knees away and towards each other. Then inhale again, widen the inner thighs, pause, and then exhale, they come back together. So all of our movement is breath-led, open to that fullness, a pause, and then a slow descent with the breath. It's, it's also like the tide that lifts 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 comes in and then recedes then cross your right ankle over your left thigh just do a gentle hip stretch here in a forward in a figure four let the shape rock side to side Uh, then taking your strap over the arch of the right foot, extend your leg towards the ceiling. For now, left foot planted on your mat, and just take your leg to where you feel a resistance in the back of the leg and the hamstring there. It's good to have a little bit of softness to the knee so you're stretching the meatier part of your hammy. Shoulders relaxed, face is easy. Come back in that full deep breath in. A little bit of a suspension, like you're sending the fullness of your season, of this season, out into every cell. There's non-attachment, so you let it go as soon as it's fulfilled its purpose. Keep the extended leg, your right leg up, but reach your left leg straight on your mat. Both sides of the strap in the right hand slowly. Open your leg to the right. Broaden, broaden, broaden. Deep breath in. Hold and then exhale. Take your body across on the diagonal. Stay to inhale fully to a suspension. And then exhale, return to neutral and release your leg down. Take a moment there, strap to the side, and then left ankle crosses over the right thigh, bring in the figure four. So we're doing all kinds of things we're very familiar with, but when we incorporate our intention and a little bit of pranayama, this is what we're doing as we suspend, it changes the quality, it changes our experience, changes our brains. As you go to one side, fully breathe in, pause, let that be what it needs to be. Experience the full fullness in that moment, and then exhale, let it transition to the other side. Breathe then breathe in, pause and observe in that full breath. And then release on the exhale. Good, now take your strap across the arch of the left foot. Right foot stays on the floor for now. Just a static stretch here, returning to deep, full breathing.
straighten your right leg down on your mat. Deep breath in, as if you're breathing into that hamstring, full, full, full. Exhale, release it slowly, and take your leg over to the left. There at the left, deep breath in, then hold for a moment. Reach within the hold, and exhale, take it across, nice and slow. Stay to breathe in as if into the outer hip. And exhale to neutral. Good. Release that leg all the way down. We'll just come into a banana shape so we can go some fullness into the low back. So walk your legs to the left side of your mat. Cross the right leg, right ankle over the top. Arms come up and wide, but tilt your body now to the left. So turn yourself into a banana shape. Then attention goes to the right low ribs, waist, and low back. So breathe into that area, deep fullness. Then let it go. Do that twice more. Intentional breath and suspension on the right. And walk your body through the center. And then legs to the right. Tilt your body to the right. right. Both shoulders relaxed back onto the mat. You might notice one side is tighter than the other. That's pretty normal. But you do that purposeful pranayama into the left waist and ribs. After that, exhale, walk your body back to neutral. And happy baby. Just rock side to side. Massage the low back. Now, keep the happy baby shape, but rock over to your right side till your right knee or thigh is on the floor. Now, if that doesn't happen, that's fine. Just slide a block under there. But what we want is for the right leg to be anchored to something. Okay, so either the floor or a block. And then release your left foot to the floor. Now we have a stretch from knee to knee. Keep your right thigh or knee anchored where it is. Flex the left foot and extend it. Only as far as you can, keeping the right knee anchored to the block or the floor. Then when you feel the stretch coming into the psoas, which is the main hip flexor in the front, maybe you feel this more across the groin, wherever you're feeling that resistance, take a full breath in. As if you're breathing into it, maintain the breath. Stretch it more. Then exhale. Once more like that. Use the breath to get even more fullness from the stretch. Good. Keep straightening that left leg. Do your best to keep the right knee anchored down. Just one more breath here. Then straighten the left leg all the way. The right knee is going to pop up. That's okay. Let's see if you can straighten the right leg or straighten it ish. You're holding with your hand. You could use the strap if needed. But since we went from happy baby. Keep using your hand if you can, even if you don't 
straighten your leg. All right, move your ankles away from each other. Long, long, long. Full, full, full. On your exhale, release. Take your knee across your body in a supine twist. Stay in the twist, but now add a little bit of extra. So the left edge of your foot is on the floor, the pinky side of your left foot. Press your left edge of your foot into your mat or the floor. Okay, so that's going to actively help you inwardly rotate the left thigh as the knee comes across. Just makes it a little bit more special. On your next exhale, come all the way onto your back, two feet on the floor. Take a breath and rest. There's something about fullness, right? The season of summer where we do more rest and rejuvenation, hopefully play and relaxation. So it's not that fullness is where we work the hardest. It's where we can ride a little bit. We can just be. Come back to happy baby. Rock side to side, playfully. And then all the way over to your left, so your left knee touches the floor or a block. Keeping that, right foot comes to the floor. Left hand is still holding your happy baby. Take a nice deep breath in. Hold the breath in. And on your exhale, flex the right foot. Extend it straight down the, towards the floor. Keep that left thigh and knee anchored to the mat. Twice here, breathe into the fullness, wherever you feel the stretch, maybe the right hip flexor, maybe across the groin. Send the breath there, hold on the exhale. See if you can surrender into the stretch a little bit more. Or twice more. The fullness isn't a tense fullness. It comes in and creates space. On our next exhale, let the knee come up enough so that the right thigh can come towards the floor. So a deep stretch, but the left leg can be off the floor, and then straighten your left leg as much as it's willing in this moment. Get your ankles away from each other. A full breath in, expand out through the periphery, and then exhale, just surrender. Extra tension. Then bend your knee, take it across your body in a supine twist. Again, that breath in, fill up even into the twist. Exhale, ah, it'll let you go a little bit deeper. Then enhance by pressing the pinky side of your foot against your mat. That's stable. Then as that knee comes across, it's a little bit more special. And return to your back, two feet, on, two feet on the floor. Experience the fullness of what you just did, right? You just did all that effort, now simply be in it. Knees come in, rock forward and back. Again, with that playful summer vibe. And then come to a sit, feet on the floor in front of you. Extend your arms forward. Inhale, reach way forward. Exhale, lean back, draw your shoulders back. Strong core zip. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Twice more. Now, this time when you're back, keep the shoulders back. Slide your hands behind you. 
fingers point towards your hips, lift your chest. You can turn the hands out if this bothers your wrists. Okay, come up into a re reverse tabletop. So pushing your feet, hips up high. Just gaze there at the ceiling. your hips, roll your wrists. Come on to your right forearm. So we'll do some low side planks, kind of waking up through the core and side body. So we can do this with uh, legs stacked, knees bent 90 degrees. Now if you're bony, just put some blankets underneath you. Left arm reaches up so we can have some fullness through the torso. So there can be a tendency to collapse. So as you breathe in, fill up your body in a way that kind of plants it in this side lying neutral. On the exhale, zip in your core. Now we'll go up and down. So inhale, lift, sustain, suspend. Exhale, release down. Nice and slow. Inhale, rising, suspend like you're a hot air balloon floating. And then you let the air out, come down. Good, three more. Notice what the mind thinks in that fullness. Is it like, is this long enough? Is it to go, you know, just let it be. Let it be full, then let it go. This time when you're up, stay up. Reach the top arm overhead and arch your body a little bit more. Good, lower down, come onto your belly in Sphinx pose. Heart melts, gaze is forward. Just let a natural curve of the upper back come in here. We're doing this yin style. So just long, slow, natural breathing. Let your bones settle, let your connective tissue release. It can be quite uncomfortable, so go into the discomfort, right? So you send your mind where you feel the sensation, breath stays long and full. Let's see if the sensation doesn't subside into a new neutral. And then melt all the way down to your mat. Bend your knees 90 degrees and flex your feet. Interlace your fingers behind your head, forehead on your mat. Take a deep cleansing breath. <sighs> Keeping your head down, just lift your elbows off of your mat. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Now press up through the soles of your feet. So as you push the soles of your feet to the ceiling, your hips anchor more. Inhale, press your head into your hands, coming into Makrasana, crocodile. So then inhale there, a deep fullness, and then exhale, forehead back down, elbows down. Inhale, rise. Suspend, not hold, suspend. Then melt. Take it on your timing. Three more times. Let it take all of your attention. Rise to suspend. Then surrender. After that third one, release your hands and windshield wiper your legs. Go 
as we go through this, I continue to think about the quality of what we're doing. Let's move back to child's pose. And the quality is like you have your hand out and a butterfly comes and lands. It's like, you know, you're there, you hold your breath like, oh, this moment's gonna pass, but there she is, right there on my palm. And eventually she goes, you, you just let her surrender. You know better than to just clap your hands around her and try to hold her. She's gonna lose her fairy dust and can't fly. So it's that kind of sense of suspension without attachment, without gripping, without holding, just be with the butterfly. And then she goes and you let go. All right, other side. So come on to your left forearm. Legs are stacked, knees bent 90 degrees. Lift the arm up. Squeeze your legs together as you inhale, hips high. Fulfill, fill up. There's the butterfly. And then let it go. Good. Four more. Building strength and endurance within. Good. Then the next time you're up, add the arm reaching overhead and a deep lifted crescent. All right, that vibration. The shaking means it's working, you're strengthening. And lower down all the way to coming into some breathing cobras this time. So long legs, hands off of your mat, shoulders back. We go, inhale. Rise up, coil up, pause, suspend, and then let it go. Four total, so go three more. After that last cobra, downward facing dog. Be in your dog and whatever your dog wants, some pedaled feet, wagging tails, whatever kind of opens up your body here. Good, then slowly walk forward, Uttanasana. Bend your knees, clasp your elbows, let your body hang as you swing from side to side. Put your body on your legs and let your spine unburden. Enhance your shins, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hands to hips, shoulders back, rise up. And then a little bit of hula now that we're on our feet. Get some flow going. And go the other way. Now you've done hundreds of sun salutations. But this time we're adding this idea of fullness. So at the top of every inhale, suspend. And then exhale to release. So come into the fullness of the breath. Be there for just a brief season and then release. We go, inhale, take that moment of fullness, and then let it go. Same thing here, lengthen as you breathe in, pause on the suspension, and then let it go. Keep going.
And down dog, three breaths. Once back into Dasana, let's take a moment, reflect on how much slower we go when we allow the fullness to happen. When we take that time, we do less, but we feel more. Give yourself just one more round with this same fullness at the top of every inhale. There's no rushing. Don't rush your summer. Good, then release. When that's finished, take your mat and a block over to the wall. Short end of your mat touches the wall. Then away from the wall, come into a wide stance. Okay, so we'll use the wall in a moment. Then once you're there, turn the left thigh and foot out and come into a warrior two. Don't even involve the wall yet. Just feel your warrior two as it is. Good, breathe and maintain. Okay, then straighten the left leg, release the arms, change legs. So just turn the opposite thigh out. Go into warrior two. Just notice how it feels today. Good. Release. Now we add a block. So bring your toes to the wall. Bend your knee until you can hold the block against the wall with your shin or your knee. Proportions may differ depending on the length of your foot, but there we go, block between your leg and the knee. So the long face is out front. Could you do this way? Eh, if your proportions need it, but otherwise, there you are. Then walk your back foot away until you come into a new depth of warrior two. Push your leg into the block. See if you can descend with your hips. And we're just going to go hands on hips. So rooting down through your legs, lift up through your chest. With this support, pressing your shin against the leg, can you go nice and low in warrior two? Okay, staying low, interlace your fingers on the crown of your head. Pull down on your head, push up into your hands. So you're creating space between the vertebrae. On the inhale, hold or suspend. 
Exhale, keep the link. Draw your core in. Do that once more. Pull down on your head, push up into your hands, breathe in. Suspend space between the head and the tail. On the exhale, support. Draw the low belly in and up. Good, then release the hands back to the legs. And then right away, over. So bring your left forearm to your thigh. Tip your pubic bone back a little bit if you can. Good, now reach your top arm over, fingertips to the wall. Push your fingertips against the wall. Turn your heart towards the ceiling. And there it is, just like in banana. There's that right side body. Breathe into it. On the exhale, twist a little deeper. Over the next two breaths, come into your most fullness here. Keep pressing your leg against the block. It's a lot of organic energy. It's a lot of reaching out. And on the inhale, come up, straighten your leg, and walk your legs together. Just take a moment there. All right, so we, we think we've got this full pose, but ah, there's a little bit more play to be had there, a little bit more experience. So let's go to the other side. Hold a block to the wall with your shin. Then walk your left leg back. Good. Keeping some pressure there. Hands to your hips. Draw down. Heart up. Okay. Now enhance through the torso. And release your fingers on your crown. Pull down. Push up into your hands. Shoulders are down, body is long. At the top of the inhale, suspend. On the exhale, embrace, zip your core. So we can be in that fullness, even as the breath releases. Once more, a deep breath in. Pull down, push up, lengthen. Maintain as you exhale. Then release the hands again, but keep the length of your torso. Okay, forearm to your thigh, whole torso tilts, left fingertips to the wall. Press your fingertips against the wall and your forearm against your leg to help you lengthen your body and twist towards the ceiling. Right, these obstacles help you create inner fullness. Everything is reaching out now. Go beyond what you can do in the center, have experience, and let this obstacle help you. Good, on your inhale, rise. Straighten your leg and walk your legs together. Good. Move away from the wall just a bit because we're going to use it again in a moment. And take a wide stance. Turn the left thigh out, right thigh in. Now come into warrior two where you know you can be. Drag your heels towards each other. Deep breath in, full up. Anchor lower. Interlace your fingers, pull down, push up. Breathe in and hold. Suspend. Keep the length, but exhale, open the arms and stay. What is the quality of your stillness now? Forearm to your thigh, sweep your top arm over. It's pressing into an invisible wall, turn, twist, reaching out from your center being. On your inhale, rise. Right away, other side. It's a lot, but you've got this. Go into warrior two. Breathe into the fullness. So you're broadening out, like you're pressing your leg against the wall, back foot into the earth. Interlace your fingers, pull down, push up. Every ounce of you getting as long as it can. On the inhale, suspend. 
Keep the length, exhale, open the arms. Be in the fullness as you breathe. Forearm to your thigh, left arm alongside your ear. Broaden, lean back. Let it grow to its most glorious height and length and depth. Good, on your next inhale, rise. And then turn all 10 toes in. Breathe in to reach up. Suspend, and then let it go, oh, forward fold. If your hands come to the floor, go palms up. So the arms rotate in, palms up out there on your feet. If not, put your hands on your shins or on two blocks. Go fully release the shoulders and neck. If your head comes all the way to the floor, just walk your feet a little closer together. Three more breaths here, adding that suspension of fullness. If you give that suspension time, your body will offer little adjustments. It's a beautiful time to learn from your body. Then bend your knees and slowly roll up. Walk your legs together and pause into Dasana. Let's return to the wall. So end of the strap, <laughs> that's a mat, <laughs> it goes to the wall. Bring your block with you. We'll do forearm stand preparation. I'll offer several modifications, but each of these do put, uh, you know, pressure and weight on the ground. You might prefer standing upright. So this would, this would take us where we're headed, right? If you don't want to um, go upside down today, right? Or you're on your moon cycle, perhaps or putting weight onto your shoulders creates pain and come into a, a wall forearm stand. So the floor version, hips over knees, hold your block with your index finger and thumb around the corners of the block. Spread your fingers and press your finger pads into your mat. Take a deep breath in and broaden, fill up, suspend that inhalation, full potential, Exhale, let it go as you melt your heart. Pin your shoulder blades down your back. Lift your hips up high, move your chest up and back towards the wall. And you can stay just like this. Or on the next inhale, walk your feet up just to the height of your hips. That's gonna take your hips over your heart, chest towards the wall. This is harder to breathe on that inhale and hold. And that's why we're doing it. Challenge yourself. See if we can stay two more breaths. And then when you're ready, walk back down and rest in child's pose using the block to hold your forehead arms and shoulders relax hips are heavy that was a big old piece of fullness right there <laughs> so now just focus on the surrender
here in this posture now add a suspension to the bottom of the exhale so once again that quiet surrender has a moment the fullness of surrender One more long exhale with suspension. Good, then slowly walk your body up. And let's return to the center of your room or just away from your wall. And then come into Malasana, Yogi Squat. We'll do dynamic version. So heels on the blanket, toes spread, balls of the feet on the floor, unless you can do this without a blanket because your heels stay anchored. Inhale, lift, stay, suspend. Exhale, there's that hot air balloon again, descend slowly. Stay to inhale. From that fullness root to rise, up and open. Stay to inhale full. A moment there, and then let it go. Just one more round like that. Stay to inhale. Be in that fullness. Then exhale, root to rise. Stay here and breathe naturally. One thing I'm noticing is that this takes me out of automatic. Right? When we think this much about breath and its suspension, you can't help but be more mindful and aware of what you're doing. One of the deep benefits of yoga is mindful awareness. If you don't care to stay like this, perhaps it's causing discomfort or pain, then I would invite you to sit on a block and put your feet in front of you or sit on the floor with feet together, knees apart. We're gonna add a little twist. So here the left hand comes down, right hand to your knee. Press your hand against your knee and arch back. So here's your arm using your leg. And once again, it's a big twist and lean back. Hips are sinking low. and change sides push your arm back twist and open your heart to the sky Now, have a seat, feet together, knees apart, but let's put a block uh, lengthwise between your feet. So glue the soles of your feet to the block, but widen your knees. So you can even take your fingers around your knees, pulling them apart. Your feet stay glued to the mat and let your hips adjust. On your inhale, a little back bend, and as you exhale, bow forward. Now, modifications for this could be don't use the block, or take your legs farther out. Okay, so the block just kind of creates a little bit more uh, opportunity to open, but you might not need that. Feet press the block, knees pull away. At the pause, at the bottom of the exhale, See if there's any more drawing in, you can do into the pose. Two 
Two more breaths. Breathing in. Pushing feet, widening knees, suspend. Breathe out, core comes in, surrender more deeply, and then pause, drawing in, drawing in, drawing in. Once more like that. And lengthen through your crown to come up. <clears throat> Remove the block and separate your feet for some windshield wipers, focusing on the inner rotation here. Roll the hip in, press your knee down. So the psoas release, a low back release. Good, then we'll come and do crown chasana. So for this, one leg is folded under as your block is under the opposite sitting bone. So sit on your block with your left tush. Can't even see mine there. <laughs> sit on the block with your left hip and then fold the right leg under. Okay, modifications. If this might be too easy for you. Then you sit inside the heel. If this leg doesn't care to bend this way, then remove the block and come to sit on both sitting bones with the leg folded in front of you. Okay, so option, this would be the most uh, forgiving. <laughs> and then the middle would be sitting on a block with the leg folded under. If it bothers the top of your foot, you can put a blanket roll here. But some uh, architectures and bones just really don't care for it. Please do not allow yourself pain. There can be discomfort, right? We're stretching and moving, but not sharp pain. And release your fingers in front of your shins. Push your shin against your legs and do a little back bend here. Good. Now imagine you're on a rocking chair on a summer day in the shade. Just rock forward and back a little bit. If you're here in Texas, you're going to pour a glass of sweet tea. All right. Now keep leaning back. Change your interlace to behind your leg and straighten your leg or straighten it ish. That's pretty far away. So you can slide your hands up to your calf, pull down as you lift high with your heart. You can always do this with your knee bent. Either way, drawing your leg down, upper body back bend. The inhale has a fullness, rising, reaching, lifting, expanding. Keep the fullness, but exhale. The core comes in to support that fullness. Two more breaths. Then as the navel draws in, bend your elbows to the sides, bring your forehead towards your shin. Okay, then release that foot to the floor. Tall body twist towards your leg. Inhale to unwind, slide the blanket away and come into downward facing dog. All right, the other side. So put the block under the right sitting bone as you sit back or take the form that works for your body. Interlace your fingers in front of you. Shin pushes into hands, which helps lift. And there we are back on our rocking chair. Forward and back a little bit. And stay leaning back and engaging your core. Change your hands to behind your leg and straighten it. Okay, that might be enough if you can. Slide your hands farther up. Draw your leg down as your body rises like a geyser up to spill back.
breath in, full, reaching, lifting, opening. The breath out, sustaining. Twice more. And with this exhale, <clears throat> draw your forehead toward your shin, shoulders roll back and down. So co-participation, so no going beyond what is needed. Just a simple inward fold. Difficult as it may be. And then release your foot to the floor, lengthen and twist. release the unwind and transition through down dog. Let's take three long deep breaths here. Experience a full suspension at the top and bottom of the breath. For that third breath, walk forward, Uttanasana. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. And then <clears throat> slowly return to your back. <coughs> Place your block between your thighs. Feet are on the floor. We'll do dynamic bridge. And guess what? Suspend at the inhale. So pressing into your feet, hips roll up, arms come through the air, heart is high. Fill and suspend. Be in the fullness of your heart open. And when it's ready, just surrender all the way back down. Stay with your own beautiful breath tempo, pausing at the top and the bottom. You can't rush summer. It will come when it comes, and it will end when it ends, just like all the seasons. But let it be full. Help it be fun. And the next time you're up, stay up. Keep the hips up, but bring your arms alongside your body so you move into a static bridge pose. Give the block a loving hug as you press into your feet. Lower your hips, remove the block. And right away, hips go back up to supported bridge. So just slide that block underneath your sacrum and rest in support. Shoulders deeply underneath you, no vertebrae on the floor, and chin is neutral.
then slowly lift your hips, remove your block. Tune into your body and ask, how would I feel most fully ready to rest? What movements do you need to do to feel that your practice was complete? And then from there, move it into Shavasana or a restorative pose of your preference. However, you feel that you can rest completely, fully, fully rest. Put yourself in a happy place, whatever that landscape may be, whether it's by water, by mountains, by your bed. <laughs> Let your mind give you a full experience of total release and the safety of your environment. as long as you like or slowly begin to let your breathing deepen you can wiggle your fingers and toes <clears throat> lovingly draw your knees to your chest 
roll to your right side. And when the moment is right, return to a seated posture. We can let our practice speak for itself that the fullness of life and the season of summer resides within us. As we chant the sound of Om to seal our practice, breathe in. Namaste. Okay, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.